Please join us today. We're going to talk about watering the pumpkins and harvesting the seeds. All right, please join us. have it. This is where e rice Pumpkins landed. Wow. Check it out. Is that cool or what? These were both grown from the, the uh, 1768 Clements 5 foot pumpkin genetics. These are the second generation. This came from the uh, this is shaped more. Got taller 5 foot pumpkin. I can say it's right up here chest tall at a thousand pounds it's a monster nice orange genetics and the other one's shaped more like the 2003 deletus which was the father of the 1768 if you really want to get these seeds and go back to the origin the 1768 clements is the seed to buy the mother that produced the five foot pumpkin that then produced these but either one you'll get a nice orange pumpkin I highly recommend these seeds. Look at this, right up to my chest. That's how tall these monsters stand up. They're really cool, very addictive. I warn you, if you grow them, it's an addictive hobby. I grew my first one in 1996, and I'm still hooked all these years later. Can't give it up. So hey, if you like seeds, join us at WorldwideGiantGrowers.com and get your seeds. They're right here. Biggest question I had this year was, how do I know when I have enough water? How much do I water? Well, that's a very tricky question. And I wanna ask Josiah Brandt if he would give his take on how to water, when to water, what's the trick to watering your giant pumpkin plants. So here you go, Josiah, please let us know. And here we are in the frozen tundra of Wisconsin. Luckily we don't got no snow yet, but uh, everything's frozen solid and I'm inside the skeleton of my greenhouse and I'm going to give you guys some tips on watering. How I go about watering, how much water, when I water. For me, I can control how much water is being applied to uh, the greenhouse because I don't have any of the natural rain. So I can be more precise and to give you a ballpark exactly the number. Um, when plants are fully grown, I'm watering about 100 to 150 gallons a day per plant, split up into two uh, different water uh, cycles, once in the morning and once more towards the afternoon. So big plants take 150 gallons, 75 in the morning, 75 at night. But for the people that uh, are going to get these big rainstorms, you got to kind of plan for those rainstorms. So a lot more uh, touch and feel, so to speak. So. For example, if I, if I get a rainstorm, I'm not going to want to water, you know, the next day after, maybe two, three days after the rainstorm. And you will have to go uh, down your soil and actually actually check your soil. So right now she's a little bit frozen, but what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to take the soil and scrunch it up. I mean, if you're if you're scrunching that soil and you have water dripping all that soil, you, your ground's oversaturated and you're going to want to skip a couple days. Uh, generally, if I were to get like two or three inches of rain, I'm going to let my, my garden rest for two to three days after that rainstorm. Uh, and if it's cloudy, I may end up not having to water that entire week. Typically, if you get a big rainstorm, you know, an inch or three inches, and you got nice weather after, it'll take two to three days for it to dry up. But that's going to be where experience comes in. But uh, the biggest tip is... When you get those rainstorms, obviously you're not going to be able to drench your fertilizers, so you're going to want to foliar spray them. So, all right, back to Bubba. We're inside now. This is inside the uh, thousand, thousand pound, over a thousand pound pumpkin. This is how thick they are. A lot of people ask how thick are they. A lot of people are under the misconception that their pumpkins are so heavy that they're going to crush themselves under their own weight, and that's just an illusion. These things are actually thicker and stronger than a normal pumpkin. Hey, getting the seeds out, cut out the bag, got the seeds. We're gonna get a pretty decent seed count here. So hey, if you like interesting seeds, join us at WorldwideGiantGrowers.com. Get your seeds. All right, keep it a secret, go tell a friend.
Bubba's car, Orange Monster. Right. We're back at the house. We've got the seeds. These are all the seeds I got out of. Now I'm gonna have to sort through and uh, pull the seeds out of the guts. And hey, I had a little surprise today. Thank you. I got this little note and some seeds in the mail from Minnesota. Bubba Presley, address to Bubba Presley. There you go. And it says, thank you, the two Utes from Minnesota. All right. It's Ivan and his brother, or even, even and his brother. Thank you so much. They sent me these seeds. The 802 Card, Cardan, <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce your name. 2261 Wallace times the 2114 Wallace could reach 2,000 pounds. All right. Caradza. Caradza? All right. I'm going to try to pronounce it. Caradza. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, you two Utes. Two Utes from Minnesota. Uh, thank you very much. All right. Sorting the seeds. I go through, pull the seeds out, put them in the uh, colander, and then the uh, guts, I'll separate them from the guts, do this all by hand. And the guts will go in the trash can, and then uh, that's, that's step one. Rinsing the seeds off to get all the slime and picking out the chunks of flesh, throwing them over on the disposal side, getting them good and clean so that we can do the final step. I'll show you that in a second. All right, I know we have child labor laws, but here's my seed packing factory. Jackson is making the sunflower seed pack up. With every purchase at WorldWideGiantGrowers.com, you'll get a free pack of sunflower seeds. If you buy the Clement seed line, I cannot do this with other growers, when you buy seeds, you are buying Josiah Brantz. They're shipped by Josiah from Wisconsin. Chris Kent's shipped by Chris from Tennessee. Whoever the grower is, they're shipped from there. So if you buy a Clement seed order, you will get these sunflower seeds. And also Dan Fleecer's 127 pound field pumpkin, which I believe was the largest pumpkin grown in Michigan in 2019. You will also link this back to the video. Um, will a boy, Will a seven-year-old boy fit in a 127-pound field pumpkin? And Jackson, the contortionist, will show you that he did fit into the pumpkin. So we'll link that up. Check it out. All right, get your seeds at WorldWideGiantGrowers.com. And remember, keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Hey, Jack, get in your seat belt before I belt you. All right? Are you ready? Yeah. We're on a trip. Take a trip and never leave the farm. Oh no! What's up, Chuck? Check it out, I think we might have waited too long. I've been really busy working. Oh. I've been wanting to meet up with Jack. Check it out. It's, you think Charlie's got a rotten apple? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Huh? It breaks so easy. Did someone paint this or something? Yeah, it's nasty. Look at down here. Look at down here. Rotten! We gotta hurry up. Let's get that one Rotten Ronnie's. Okay. All right. But the ones up front look good. We're getting the uh, seeds out. All right. The ones up front look good. All right. So my friend here, Bill, grows these, and he does have a political opinion, and I respect everybody's opinion. All right. So here we go. Come to pick the seeds out. Harvest the seeds. It's seed harvest time. What are you doing, Jack? Don't ask. I say don't. Ask. <laughs> hey, back off there, Bucko. I'll have to give you a tune up. I think Charlie, Charlie's got a crack. The massacre. forget the face seed contest our current winner is jim's organics from kentucky he actually uh weighed in at robert's family's farm in kentucky i believe it's 1,082 pounds if i'm not mistaken but please comment below if you grew the face seeds 
The deadline is December 1st to enter the Fay Seed Contest. $300 and a plaque to the winner. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the videos, please turn on your notifications, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos to come. We're going to talk to this winner about disease. Do you have disease issues in your garden? We're going to talk about a lot of topics. So please keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Josiah, Bubba, Jackson, Eri, we're all talking giant pumpkins. So join us.